Hi, it's Julie Aubuchon here. I'm with author Hal McFarlane, and he's here at the Florence Book and Literacy event. And he has a stockpile of books here that he has written over the years. So how can you explain to us maybe what the favorite book is that you've written? Well, I would have to start with the first book that I wrote, which one on the, the Kiger murders, a true story that happened in 1943. And I was drawn to it because I was just a little kid and my mom would go to the trial, which was in Burlington, and come home, I'd come, she would come home, wait for her husband, my father, to come home at midnight from his railroad, and they would share the, the story of the day. Usually it's a lot of blood and stuff about the murder of the, the vice mayor of Covington. And I was just fascinated by the story, but I wasn't allowed to hear it, so my brother and I would sneak down from the upstairs and just listen. They wouldn't know it. And from that then, uh, I eventually decided that would be my first book. But what made it my first book is my wife getting on Oprah with her first book. And I was very jealous. I thought, if she can write a book and get on Oprah, surely I can just write a book. And so that was my first story, and that was why. That's exciting. Yeah. Very, very good. How long has it taken you to write some of your books? Uh, it varies. I'm a very fast writer. So I can write a book in a few months. Or I, if I really enjoy what I'm doing, I'll, I can take a year or two. <laughs> oh, it wow. Yeah, it's hard to say. But uh, my, my system is write at night and sleep in the day. My wife doesn't agree with that, but <laughs> it, it works for me. And most of my ideas come while I'm on a treadmill. I don't know what it is. Good for you. Run, 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 walk, walk, walk. But then all my problems are solved. If my characters have problems, by the time I get off the treadmill, the problems are solved. That's phenomenal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think makes a good story? The, it, it varies. Are you, are you talking about what makes a good story to me as an author or to a, a reader? To a reader. To a reader, it uh, it has to be something that is not simple, but is simple enough that it isn't confusing. I know a lot of the television is, 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 is so oriented now to fast, 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 boom, boom, boom. And I like to tell a story gradually and have the events unravel gradually. And that makes it always interesting until the very last page and bam then you've got it that's awesome so what advice would you give a new author uh, don't write for money you have to love it don't you me. have to love it yeah you're writing for yourself great advice thank you Hal. Yeah, sure. thanks for being here okay